Be there, but. So one of the subtle advantages that's not really mentioned too much is that if you play a low tier against a high tier, you more than likely have more match yep. than they do. Basically by definition, right? You're yeah. playing against a pool where, you know, almost everyone plays the characters that you play all the time and they never run into your character. So yeah, you always have matchup edges on people. Uh, but that being said, you know, Ken's been around forever. Back in his day, he used to just see all sorts of characters. I feel like old school players typically have seen more out of, like, the uh, the mid and low tier characters just because back then the meta wasn't as refined. You yeah. Know? He's not going to get shenanigans by floaties. Right. But then again, I mean, I still feel like I see new tech out of these low tier characters than I did back in the day, too, right? Like. Uh, I feel like Lynx used the, the second hitbox at the, the end of the Nair more than yeah. they used to. Yeah. And, like, it's just, I don't know, the game's constantly evolving. So it's hard to keep up even with uh, the low tier cast. That's true. And sometimes that little, like, gimmick can get you to opening it to, like, 50 damage. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, especially on, on a character like Fox. I think Fox in particular, as soon as he gets opened up, every character in the game can just kind of put a hurting on him. 
Wow, that was a good uh, second hit of uh, Ford Smash. Yeah, I actually didn't expect that to kill. I didn't realize that had that much uh, vertical KO power. Yeah. But then again, Fox is at 183. How do you feel about the FD counter pick from these guys? I think that that's super dangerous against uh, against Marth. Uh, it seems good against the Fox with this team, but you're never really going to have uh, good isolation opportunities with Ken causing as much uh, just as much havoc on Marth as he always does. Yeah, um, I think uh, they didn't want a stage with top platform, and they really tried Stadium, which didn't really work out. Right. And so this was the alternate stage. Because because Fox and Marth are quicker characters, um, they picked the Dreamland or a Battlefield, and they could just top platform Ken. I would also guess that Dreamland was probably the ban from uh, from Santiago and Ken. I mean, maybe maybe I'm wrong. I can't figure out what yeah. the bans actually were, but that would be my guess. Yeah, I, I could agree with that, because um, they're going to live long. Mario um, has a chance of surviving. Oh, sick recovery there. I thought Aroki was dead for sure. And the interesting thing is, is that A Rookie and Ken are regular train partners, so they're going to be familiar with each other's like shenanigans. Ooh. Another great recovery. Mario having to use every tool in his recovery kit to make it back there. And that, you know, I feel bad for the guy having to work that hard, but it's cool that he yeah. was able to make it back because Cape and uh, That being said, they are down so much right here. This looks real bad. Yeah. Oh, Fox got baited off the ledge, and he's ooh, cheap kill. Might have been what they needed to get back into it. It's still definitely an uphill battle, but yeah. they're not out of it yet. A good uh, way to hold Link there. Yep. So that he, Marth had zero chance of getting edge guarded. It was holding the Link so that the Link couldn't edge guard and also getting to use the back throw as a hitbox to keep the Mario away. It was uh, just really good, kind of like textbook example of why you you hold in the 1v2 situations until the, the teammate tries to approach you. Yeah. And I think that's going to do it. Yeah. Yep. yep. <laughs> a rookie yelling no and <laughs> shakes his hand. Yeah. Um, so clean 2-0 by Ken and Santi. 